So if you were to pretend this was your melee axis, here's your X axis, here's your Y axis. This is going to be your center right here. And if you hold up, you're going to be entering these two quadrants right here. If you hold down, you're going to be entering these two quadrants right here. Right is going to be these two. And left is going to be these two. So if you hold up and right, you're entering these. If you hold down and left, you're entering in these. It's quadrant one, two, three, and four. Now say you're to enter in that quadrant one that I mentioned earlier, right? You'd be holding up and right. And you'd be able to do any Firefox in this range right over here. If you did you just hold up and right, you'd be going right dead center 45 degrees, right? But if you hold M1, which is this button right here, you would go the farthest you possibly can, the steepest you can go on box. If you were to hold M1 plus C stick down, you'll see that you actually get closer to 45, but still very, very steep. If you hold C left, you get a tad bit closer. C up, you get even closer. And C right, you get as close as possible that box will allow you to do. So right there you have your M1, and then you have four C stick angles that you get when you hold M1 plus a C stick button. And like I said, that starts C stick down and slowly increments when you go C left, C up, and C right. So it's real, real intuitive. And then when you go to M2, you just press M2 and up right and you'll see you go the steepest possible you go m1 plus c stick down and now you get closer to 45 and that trend continues and you just keep going counterclockwise until you actually get as close to 45 as possible you'll see that right now we have your m2 again and then your m2 plus your four angles as well so that's M2 plus any of the C buttons. And then you're wondering, well, what if I'm holding down right? right? So that's down right. And it's basically the exact same thing. Down right, you get to 45. M2 is your steepest. M1 is your farthest. The C buttons will slowly get you closer and closer, starting with C down. And going all the way to C right. So this would be C right. And this would be C down. Same for M2. Now you might be wondering. So what if I hold C down and C right together? Well nothing really happens. Same for C down and C left. Nothing happens. It, you just get C down. That, that's it. So C down. So that would be this angle right here. So holding two angles together doesn't get you like an in-between or anything like that it's real nice and simple you get 11 angles per quadrant starting at the steepest one going counterclockwise to 45 so like I said M2 is going to be right here and right here so it's going to be your two steepest angles M1 is always going to be your farthest angles like I said from there it gets closer to 45 and from here, it gets closer to 45 as well as you come in with the C angles or the, with the C stick going from C down counterclockwise to C right, getting closer to 45. So it's real simple if you think about it like logically. So up left, you want to go steep or sorry, you want to go far, just hold M1. If you want to go far but not that far, you just add one C button down then you just go C left, C up, same thing. That's real nice and simple. That's basically it for the C stick angles.